One of the most important things you need to do as a soybean farmer is use a pre-emerge herbicide. Well, I talk to some guys and say, you know what, your crop could be completely shot before you even get started. And they say, well, what are you talking about? It must be fertility, maybe. I say, no, it's weed control. Have you been around the country just a little bit? After going to the Mid-South and seeing Roundup resistant Palmer pigweed, it just totally changed my mind about soybean production. I mean, I've always known that using a pre-emerge herbicide is very important, but I saw guys actually disc under their crop. I mean, disc under their soybeans, their cotton. I thought, what in the world are you guys doing? There's got to be something we could do. And they said, no, we've tried everything to kill these weeds. If we, don't, if we don't right. kill them pre-emerge, we're sunk. Well, the issue becomes, once Roundup no longer works for you, how many options do you have post-emerge? Like, let's take that water hemp or palmer pigweed like Darren's talking about. Well, with conventional herbicides, yes, Flexstar is okay, Cobra is not too bad. There are a couple others that would, would be marginal on it. But you know what? The weeds should be two to four inches tall. We just uh, recently on our farm put a flag down by a water hemp plant, and in three days we had six inches of growth. Three days, six inches of growth. So in other words, uh, you might have a two, possibly three day window to spray your Flexstar or Cobra. You can't get out there and spray that timely. It's never gonna happen. So if you have Roundup resistant weeds, then you've got to take a look at how am I going to get those other weeds under control when I can't be timely enough with my post spray. The only option is use a good pre. You know, when you look at university data over the years, and this has been really the last two decades, they've shown it's been about a four bushel difference whether you put a pre-emerge down and control the weeds or you spray them when they're real small, I mean really small. Now you look at some of the real high yield producers like Kip Colors, for example. Kip says if you let weeds get even two inches tall, you're giving up 10% of your yield potential. Now when you look at the potential of a soybean plant is a thousand bushels when you th think of all the pods and flowers that it makes, well that's a hundred bushels you're giving up if you look at it the way that Kip does. It's a big yield difference. Well, I see I'm going to disagree with you there. Sometimes it's not that big a yield difference. Sometimes it might only be a couple bushels and it's really hard to notice a couple bushels in the grain tank. But the thing is, I always try to focus on dollars and cents rather than focusing on those bushels in the grain tank. Because even two bushels, you're talking over $20 an acre, over $20 an acre. And if you look at some of the pre-emerge herbicides and what they cost now, take Valor for example, we use a lot of Valor on our farm. All right, Valor's seven or eight bucks an acre. Plus, you get a $3 rebate when you use Neighbor and Roundup. They had that program this year, they're gonna have that program this coming year. So you're talking a grand total of four to five dollars. Four to five dollars, and you're gonna gain over $20 an acre. Now, if you get the four bushels, like you're talking about in university average, you know, then you're, you're talking 40 or $50 an acre for a $4 investment it's a good idea for you to put a pre down just in terms of dollars and cents. Give me your top four soybean pre-emerge herbicides. What would you say? Well, I definitely like Valor. There's no question about it because the main weeds that we've got are broadleaf weeds. In Valor, it gets some of the grass, but not all. That's why I'm looking forward to maybe the new Fierce, for example, where you add another component to that Valor to help out on grass and some of the other weeds. I also like the Authority products a lot. I like Authority Assist. For me, that fits so well for a lot of the acres that I cover with wild buckwheat, with velvet leaf, some of the different uh, broadleaf weeds that are out there. A combination product with some Pursuit plus some Authority in there, that works well. I still like the old Treflan and Prowl and Sonlan. In fact, I would prefer to add those in, uh, like a Valor-Prowl combination is really awesome. That's uh, probably one of my favorite mixes. And then don't forget old Sencor. Everybody says, well, you know, I, I've tried Valor, I've tried Authority, well fine. Use some Sencor at least. Sencor and Treflan has been just a tremendous combination for the last 30 well, years. Well, Sencor is dirt cheap too. I mean, you're talking three, four bucks an acre there, three, four bucks an acre for Treflan. You can have a complete program for under $10 an acre. But anyway, we've given you a number of different pre-emerge herbicides there. It just depends on which weed you're after. Just talk to your agronomist and he can get you into the best product that fits right for the weed spectrum on your farm. Well, even if you use the pre-emerge herbicide, you still might not get our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this weed coming up later in the show.